James from All Hail Internal Combustion. Make sure you like and subscribe. Getting back to the Pontiac. Well, been on the Pontiac. Uh, gonna start, you know, cleaning up the block a little bit better. We're pulling the freeze plugs out today. And we're gonna pull this uh, little brass guy out of here. We're gonna put a quarter inch Petcock, Petcock in there. Um, and deburr all this nonsense off the block and clean it up. But, uh, we already took the grime off with a wire brush on a drill, then just hit it with the parts washer with a drip pan under it just to get the rest of it off. It's it's fairly clean, but um, yeah, anyway. You can so always clean it more. We pulled the dipstick out too, just to have it out of the way. And on the Pontiac, it's just a flared end. Yeah, it's just a flared end with a lip on it pushes up through the uh inside here so pulled it out clean behind it make sure it's sealed up so yeah anyway let's go ahead and pull these freeze plugs out start there and if you'll notice these freeze plugs on this pontiac motor are really thick compared to small block ford small block chevy so what you want to do first is you want to walk your chisel around on the outside of it and kind of just loosen it up a little bit and then you'll be able to drive it all the way through. All you're trying to do is shock it a little. Now it's actually starting to move, and it's going to go inside the engine. And if it drops in like that, don't worry about it. You're going to be grabbing it with a pair of vice grips or channel locks or whatever you can get your hands on. And you're basically just going to pry that freeze plug out of there. I got it a little bit of a bad angle. That's okay. Obviously you want to center it up in the hole as best as you can. And there is your happy magical freeze plug. Well, let's take number two off. We'll see what we see inside. see the grime and grunge in there that would be why my look at the back of that freeze plug that would be why my coolant system was getting very very dirty even though I have a brand new overflow tank and radiator very expensive radiator block is filthy I, I did flush it out it just uh, obviously wasn't quite enough it is yeah so if you look down in there you can see that layer of grime in there look at that look that's in your cooling system oh my god yeah and like I've said before about this block it's always been a project car for people so it's going to be full of crap because somebody let the cooling system go dry and then they put cooling into it and God knows what else. There could be a ton of bars leaks mixed in there and I don't I don't even know what that is. It's just it's so fine, almost like sand or something. Yep. So we got to clean all that out. But uh, oh yeah, it's like a sandbox in there. Look at that. Mmm. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to get your, uh, hey, look at that big old blob of crap right there. It's craptastic. Okay, that's, that's disgusting. That's what I'm saying, dude. That's pretty bad. I'm glad we're flushing this out. Oh my God. It's worse than I thought. Okay, well that's, that's why we got Mr. Happy Power Washer. 
Look at that. I wonder if the car will run cooler now. <laughs> yeah. All right, so he's pulling out this uh, plug here in the bottom of the engine, and most engines have this. It's the lowest point of your cooling system in your engine block. And uh, my Uncle Franny taught me a long time ago, you go to service your engine, instead of getting antifreeze all over the ground, you just put a couple radiator petcocks in this position, and you can completely drain your block before you yank it out and make a mess all over your floor. So, we'll be back. Okay, we're back. Gonna get at this oil galley plug. I'm gonna take a, about an eighth inch drill bit. It might be smaller. Go right in the center of this guy. Now, 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 now. Got a this one in. Oh, we're using one too small. Too big, I mean, so. These look like. I've used these for something before. Lighter stuff on it. I need to that one in there. There we go. Okay, so you get your screw in there, and we got a cat's claw. And that's how you pull your oil galley plugs because you do not want to drive these in. You drive it in and lose it, you lost it for life. So, Make jewelry out of this, basically. We got that, and now we're going to go ahead and uh, we need to pull our plugs out in the rear, but we're going to need to take the engine off the stand in order to do that. But uh, we got everything else, and then. That's the big clump of crap that poured out of it when we flipped it over and we know the block is completely full of that kind of munch, so that's got to get cleaned too. I got the oil pump over here, or the, yeah, the oil pump for apart. And this is our oil pump. And if you look in here, you can barely, barely, barely feel that. So what we can actually do if we're going to reuse this oil pump, we can uh, clean that up on a piece of glass with sandpaper. Gears all look nice and happy. Yeah, very minimal wear on that. A little bit of scoring down in the bores, so we'll have to uh, figure out whether we're going to reuse this oil pump or pick up a new one. I was losing some oil pressure, but uh, after we seen some of the dips in the can, that could have been a result of... And losing oil pressure to me has went from 40 plus to maybe 39 when, you know, you were in the into the throttle pedal, so... And there's the uh, bypass check ball down in there with a spring behind it. And that would come off when you remove that nut. So uh, we're going to go ahead and strip the oil pump down and get it cleaned up and reevaluate. Oh, close. Almost. The that one. And watch it, or you'll take a spring to the face. That really wasn't that bad. At least it's not a ball to the face. That can be embarrassing. Yep, got spring in there, and our little check ball is hiding down on the inside. It rolled right out, so our oil passage in there isn't all gummed up. Ooh, but it's glittery. Everything's going to get a good cleaning. Yeah, it's probably glittery from that rear can bearing that was starting to seize. So, we'll be back. Up 
this thing turned on its nose and got the stand off of it. And we're just going to knock these earplugs out. Same uh, passageway, different part of the motor, different plug. It is moving, I just, I want to bust my hand on this fold either. And they're going right in there. That's deep. Let's get the other one out. A deep passage. All right, we got to get the screw version on that on this back oil galley, and this one is some kind of strange. It's a, it's basically a pipe plug, but it's not three eighths socket size. So we're gonna have to figure something out because we got one there we want to get out, and there's one up here on the top that we want to get out because like... this is the main feed from the oil pumps. We want to make sure all this is clean. Grab a drill, brother. Grab a drill and do this. Same thing like we did with the little baby plugs up front. Pop the hole in it. Just throw in it. Try it out. Get the drill bit stuck. Alright, that's beautiful. I want to drive it. Alright, let's get a... And the screw is probably still in the plug. Oh, you only have one of those? We'll be back, yeah, because I only got one of those special screws. <laughs> I didn't know you only had one screw, so I had to take it back off my necklace. I already made some jewelry out of it. I guess now I got a bigger piece of bling. Look at this plug I'm taking out. My necklace charm is going to be so big. People are going to be like, wow. <laughs> People are going to be like, what's that damn smell? That trash jewelry. <laughs> All right. That's pretty tight in there, but I'm worried it's not fully engaged. Let's see what it feels like and put a little pressure on it. The plug. Yeah, it looks like it started to come out. It's not the plug either. do this time to uh, get a little better is put that underneath of it so we got a better pry point <clears throat> yeah let's write that with a hammer pull that screw right out pull that bad boy right out I don't think it I don't think I'm getting the screw in far enough the impact screwdriver out for it. Yeah, this is a uh, really, really thick plug back here, but it's uh, coming off your rear main galley and your oil pump. Let's see if we can get this thing to bite a little better. I have got the freaking stud right in your way. Oh, hang on. <laughs> 
or Captain Crazy, pull that out. We could take this one all the way through because I just felt behind it, and uh, it's a clear passage. So we can get us a uh, smaller chisel and just tap that one all the way through and we'll be able to retrieve it. Be right back once we grab the tools. Okay, so this just falls into the can valley, so we're just going to take this 3 8 Work it through to the inside. Just like we did with the other ones. There we go. And it fell out. Hey, look at that. There's another one of those mystery screws. Bum, bum, bum. Well, basically what they do at the factory, they run a long drill bit through the block. And those are your main oil passages. So they go through and they have to plug them. Because if you don't plug them, oil is going to spew out everywhere. So we've got this block all stripped down. Plugs are out of it except for these crazy ones. But uh, we'll figure that out. We need to retrieve our two water jacket plugs out of here. And this thing is ready to get pressure washed. Boom. I started this process with nothing. Right. I'll be using the wrong tool. I don't know. Vice grips. grips. It just seems a little bit lanky, a little bit bigger. And there we go. And as you can see by the back side of this one, it's up higher in the block, so it didn't take all the sludge and nastiness that the other ones did. But uh, they're all going to be replaced. This one for you to try and come out a hole a little bit. Yeah. Why don't we just move back again? I don't know. Let's see. There it comes. Relatively clean. But like I said, higher up. This is definitely asking, answering a lot of questions I had about the sludge inside of my overflow tank. Let's That's see, we can. So those are the water passages that go between your all around your cylinders inside the block. So as you can see, these upper passages are relatively nice. It's these nasty things down here that we have to get cleaned out. But uh that's going to wrap it up for this one. James from All Hail Internal Combustion. I'll see you next time.